hi guys today i will give you some tips to model the spin if you like it then give a thumbs up and if you didn't subscribe yet then make sure you don't leave without subscribing that will encourage me to make more tutorials for you so without wasting any time let's start and one more thing if you want to download these models and then you can go to my gumroad it is are free on there so yeah so let's start go to the polygon create a cylinder scale it up move it up mm, give uh, a height radius a bit and we need more segment here 35 and this is kind of okay and make sure that your division should be look like a quad approx okay so now um, move it up a little bit select all the middle edges except these leave these rings okay now create a sets now what is sets you can save anything in your sets like uh, any selection I, it can be multiple objects it can be faces it can be edges it can be vertices so um, one minute let me open my outliner so now you have to create a set okay where you can find it it is create sets sets okay uh, let me delete this we don't need this okay now if you want to select that selection again just right click on this and select set members okay it will select okay now what select the faces again on same edges now uh, it have two edges uh, two ways so i will showing you the first one then i will be show the second one okay uh, shift right click pop face okay it should be like this so now what you have to do right click on sets select set members okay now shift right click delete edges now it's your model should like look like this okay once more so right click on this select set members okay sorry i undo this maybe that's why yeah it's now go to the face mode and poke faces shift right click poke faces and then go to the sets select set members now shift right click delete edges now your model should look like this okay and i'm going to delete this okay now select the faces again the same faces okay now shift right click extrude now turn off your keep face together uh, click on this scale icon here and scale it from the middle it, it should scale like this okay if it's not happening with you then you can just undo and retry <coughs> just delete now go to the deform and lattice now make your t division 0 i mean 2 not 0 it won't go that low i mean it's you should go to the lowest mm, maybe i model the object little 
upside down but that's not the problem we can scale it down it's fine okay we have to scale this like this kind of okay now move the bucket a little bit higher so that there is room for the uh, this distance same for this okay now we will this so should be fine like this looks good now select the whole faces and shift right click right click extrude okay it looks good to me was normals okay so our model looks like this now press 3 you can see uh, if you think that this distance is too high you can just do a little bit and do a less extrude extrude a little bit that will be fine I guess yeah reverse normal bigger yeah it should look like this uh, it's pretty much ready but the problem is uh, not not this is not a problem actually uh, but I have I want to show you some more trips so that you can do much better first thing uh, if I want to make this on rectangle uh, co like chords okay not like rounds so what you need to do just go to the side view and select unselect this and shift right click crease tool okay I and uh, if you don't know how to use crease tool uh, I'm telling you wait now if you create a cube okay and if uh, you press 3 on this it should be look like this okay but if I crease this the all edges and how you crease this just uh, you can see on uh, select the all edges shift right click crease tool now if you drag and you can see over here uh, there is a number okay over here if you middle click and drag uh, right and left then the crease is enabled and disabled so the number is here is showing how much crease intensity it has okay uh, but uh, if you crease to full then uh, it should maintain its shape okay like if this is a sphere and I am creasing these three edges okay shift right click crease tool so it should be like this okay understanding So 
this is how crease works so if you are thinking that what benefit it has in creasing then I am going to say that if you see that if I press 3 on this mesh it will go smoother everywhere but if I can crease these okay it 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 going to be pinch it on the corner so that's that is the thing i'm using overall here okay i select all the edges over here and you can press 3 now you can see there is smoothness going on over here and it is the crease one see Uh, I'm going to tell you that uh, some softwares uh, does not support crease crease but ZBrush does support it so if you want uh, want to make normal out of it what you have to do just e export this after applying crease export this export this to you have to select ASCII because OBJ does not contains the crease information ASCII does okay and before you export you have to make sure that your object transformation is zero so that I'm going to um, freeze it around like this clean the history file export selection desktop ASCII dustbin okay then open the gbrush I'm just messing around import go to the desktop dustbin Gozi. Yeah, Gozi does work and it also contains the crease information. You have you can just divide it once more, twice and after two or three division. Two division is fine I guess. Let me change the material. After two division you need to remove and all the creases then uncrease all now divide one or two times more now you can see it's coming really cool okay so this is looks nice to me and I'm going to append rename this and I'm going to select this one and go Z and I will add to this yeah now I'm going to divide this one also which one is this, this one you can see that there is no crease deformation you can just divide it a couple of times now it looks like this okay now did, did you see that how fast I got two variation of dustbins uh, so quickly in single uh, object but uh, I want to tell you something more uh, if you want to model this properly then I should recommend that you make these objects in, uh, uh, in separate object as a separate object these as separate separate and these on the separate object because I am telling you that if you check uh, some references then you will know that every time these the 
these rings create in a single metal and this sing create in single metal and this create in single metal uh, i will show you some references yeah so if you can see that this ring is one metal this ring is one metal this ring is one metal okay if you see this there is a bar this ring is shape separate this plate is separate and this ring is separate same here this object is separate this is separate this is separate and uh, because in the real life they of the object are separate so i i would make recommend you that you make the object in separate that works better okay to make this in separate you just have to just select the object like this go on the same way not any difference i am removing caps this time because i don't need it just make little more lengthier than the other one uh if you want to exact same result then you have to count the rings i didn't count the last time so if you count the rings like how many in the um, height and how many in the uh axis it will help a little more exact to it okay so then select this one delete select this one delete now select all the faces no edges select all the edges and go to mm, create sets sets okay now convert the selection to faces shift right click poke faces go to custom for myself uh right click on this and select second then delete edges <laughs> okay it should look like this now select all the faces shift right click extrude turn off the extrude keep face together sorry now scale down from middle okay until it now you have to just extrude it like this yeah, this is fine a reverse mesh display reverse okay you can see that's i got the middle ring and what i should do now just double click and duplicate this face so that i i could get the extrude out of it like the something it should select a little bit more because i told you you have to make the object to be separate that is better same thing for this duplicate and took it down now i'm going to add a ring over here delete this extrude merge extrude merge okay now i'm going to i'm going to keep this it looks good to me so i'm just combining it and duplicating it and just lattice and scaling down it apply lattice lattice is over here here okay so uh, i think this is much better than this uh, but it's up to you what you like okay so so this is a 
first tutorial for how to make uh, models faster in dustbin for dustbins in this cool timing thanks for watching and do subscribe to my channel so that you never miss any video bye bye see you